Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeff McIntosh from JM Design. I saw this great um, animation by Jeff Schultz, and it's this kind of paper uh, fold-out effect. I just thought it was, you know, really interesting. I can play it for you. It goes really fast, though. So it's it's this paper um, kind of this, yeah folding out of paper, really. So I, I looked online. I thought I could find a tutorial on you know how to do this, and I couldn't find anything. So I thought, hey, I'll just uh, I'll do a little tutorial, a little demo of of how I thought he did it, and maybe it'll help others um, that are trying to achieve a similar effect. Okay. So first off, um, I made my new composition. Made this little strip of. Uh, orange, you know, irregular shape. That's going to be what I'm going to unfold, basically. So I want to pre-comp this because it's going to be the same for, uh, well, I'm just going to keep using it, duplicates of this. Um, wanna oh no, I want to move everything over and I don't want to open it. Okay, so this is my... Um, little strip of orange here and what I want to do is really cut this into pieces so I'm gonna make my first cut there I'm gonna make it into a 3D layer and I need to change my anchor point location so that it will f it will rotate on the end and not not in the middle Okay, so let's go. My ending, I want it at zero, but I want to start it out at, let's say, 90 or something. So that it just kind of folds out like that. Let's turn on the um, the blur, motion blur. Let's turn it on for the composition. And let's add a camera. 35 mil should be fine. Um, that looks good. Maybe add a light as well. Point light. That's fine. Shadow doesn't need to be that dark. Diffusion can be 30. And let's just pull this back out at us a little bit more. Okay. That looks fine. Um, maybe... Oh, I don't want that new solid just as my background here make that 3D as well maybe increase the scale of it and push it back a little bit okay so it's actually a little bit slow but we will do an ease in and uh, I guess let's try the next one to see how the timing will work on this. So I just duplicate that layer. And I want to use the mask in a specific way. I want to keep this line of the mask, but change these points of the mask over so that this line in the middle is um, the same for this, this, this layer as it is for this layer. Okay, so but I also need to change the anchor point location because again I want to f it folds out from here for this one and then it folds out from here across this line for this one as you'll see okay whoops um well these keyframes so they start at right at the beginning that would be a good thing so that it just doesn't just stay there let's pull these out a little bit okay yeah that's the look I'm going for it's a little seems a little choppy oh I don't like that that's why That looks fine.
Okay, so we'll just keep doing that, duplicating the layer, um, changing the mask, so it's over, and then changing the anchor point location. One thing with this with this effect is that it is tedious, you know, it's it's not an effect where you can just apply it to a um a layer and it it just unfolds it for you. It's yeah, splitting a layer up, uh splitting a composition up and and animating it one piece at a time. So a problem you could find uh, when working with a client is is that if if you got the timing wrong on it or if if you got the maybe the size of the you know these little pieces wrong um, it could mean you know you redoing the whole animation because to fix one little part might mean everything else is affected by it so just something to keep in mind when when you when you're choosing to do work like this personally I, I try to choose things that are easy to uh, change later on but you know sometimes sometimes that's not always the case so oops so change the anchor point again and this should probably be my last little piece here um, move, the, move the mask points over yeah that should be fine and then move the anchor point okay so make sure that when one piece folds out the other piece starts that would be key. Okay. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. I think the animation goes so quickly that you know it, it'll actually hide some of your some of your, the some of the flaws in this in this type of animation. See, I don't I don't really like that, but. Maybe that's just how it goes. You could actually, uh, so I'm rotating on the Y here. You could rotate it on maybe the Z axis so that, no, oh, maybe not. Maybe it's more of an orientation type of thing. There it goes. Now again, this is adding more complications, making it more complicated, but do what you gotta do. <laughs> okay, maybe that didn't really do what I thought it would do. Well, that's a kind of interesting. It folds it out in a on a different angle, which I'm not sure if it works, but again, when you're doing this, you can play around as long as you want. Yeah, I don't really like that, so. Okay, let's check it out. Looks fine. The last piece goes really quickly. I think the larger you make these pieces, the maybe the more interesting it looks. It seems like these larger pick pieces look more interesting than uh, these other pieces, but what can you do? Okay. Let's put in the text, um, fold effect, and then, OK, 
can make this 3D layer, punch it out a little bit, and we need some shadows in there. So let's go to material options, cast shadows. Oh, that looks interesting. And then we want to add a shadow you know to this folding thing but you don't want to add the shadows to each piece because you'll see all these lines and um, each piece will kind of could cast a shadow on the other piece and you just you want it to look like one long piece so what I'm gonna do is duplicate one of these I'm gonna delete the mask so that it's actually just the original it's the original piece. Um, then I'm going to go into the material options and just go cast shadows only. So it's just it's just that piece in the background. And then I don't want it full the whole time, so I'm just going to animate um, a mask that just almost wipes wipes across as this paper effect unfolds. So oh I see I got some keyframes on there that I don't want. Okay, so I want the mask to start there. So let's put that in the beginning, and then we just animate the mask path so that it goes to the end, and then put the keyframe where this last piece unfolds at the end so the timing is correct. Okay, so let's give that a go. Uh, the shadow is actually too fast right now. See how it's ahead of the game. Doesn't really look that good like that. We could maybe do an ease in at the end. Well, we'll see if that works. Well, I like it at the end, but at the beginning it jumps in, which is never a good thing. Um, it's probably because I have this mask off the screen. There we go, that's a bit better. I could even maybe just animate the opacity just a bit at the beginning just so that it doesn't jump just kind of fades in a little bit okay that should be fine um, another thing we might want to try is um, just adding a little movement to the camera just so you're you're moving around the screen a little bit Okay, so I just parented the camera to a 3D null object. Just add a wiggle because I don't want to spend much time putting in keyframes just to animate the camera. It's a bit, it's a bit much. 40. Just want a little slight, slight movement. I don't know. Looks okay. Maybe 1.5. And then what's happening is my background layer 
isn't that big, so I should just scale it so that as it moves around, it doesn't um, doesn't do that. Uh, another thing I might want to try is just animating this text in as as the paper unfolds, and we can achieve that easily by just doing this animation. Maybe enable the 3D, and we'll do. Um, maybe position. Actually, maybe I don't need the. Maybe I didn't need the uh, the 3D on there. I guess if I did a rotation, that could work. But um, okay, so should do something like that. We also need uh, opacity animated as well. Eh, something like that might might do it. Okay, so as it unfolds the text comes up. Looks fine. Maybe we could add in a little rotation as well just to emphasize this, this 3D look we're trying to achieve. I guess it's, I guess it's not that one. There we go. That looks okay. Looks okay. Yeah, you, you know, you can do whatever you want to do with the text. But, um... Yeah, I think that's the effect. Um, man, that text is going crazy. Maybe just something a little more subtle. And yeah, that, I think that's that's the basic idea of the uh, of this fold effect is um, really splitting up, you know, the the piece into uh, into chunks and and animating um, the rotation.